Hey, Gamebox here. Welcome to Market Monday once again. The last Market Monday for a couple weeks as I am out of the area next week. So this hopefully will hold us over a couple weeks, which is nice because Kralo said... I'm going on vacation, if anybody's going to ask. Um, with Foxy, so kind of a honeymoon. Anyways, Kralo said like content the next two weeks on the Madden Daily stream this morning. So what does that mean? That means a traditional, I like to call, staleflation sets in where the cards that we have right now, we'll come back to the screen in a little bit with that point. Um, and the cards that we have right now are going to be the same cards that we're going to have two weeks from now. So players are constantly earning coins through different things, and of course, packs too. Uh, but mostly when there's no new cards being injected in the game, no new promos, that kind of stuff, coin uh, generation will outpace the card generation so there's gonna be a little inflation there so no new content so, so the, the best cards now are gonna be the best cards in two weeks so people are gonna gain more coins and they're gonna buy those cards so basically that's kind of what happens with staleflation uh kind of expect it i would expect prices to go up um slightly for the next two weeks of course with series seven coming which is going to uh come in that two week time what Kralo said S series things don't generally end up crashing the market maybe just a little bit depends on what comes with them uh, depends on if anything big comes who knows ultimate master maybe who knows what they're working on in those two weeks uh, but so it's probably a fine time to keep your team play uh, just have fun with the game as much as you can don't worry about like saving up for the next card but or, or just stack your coins I guess worry about stacking your coins but don't worry about anything coming in and destroying your value for the next week week and a half or so um, so Enjoy it. You know, kind of we're in the last three months of Madden 19, the swan song. Let's all get uh, all teary-eyed and whatnot, thinking about the good and bad times together. But um, as for Kralo telling us about that, I really appreciate him uh, making that statement and kind of giving us some expectations for the future. I know a lot of people are like, all right, it's over. They're giving up, whatever. That's fine. Uh, I know EA shifted. I don't love it, I, I, it but I, I do think it's fine that they told us. I would rather be enlightened. Um, and, and have expectations set rather than just kind of be waking up every day being disappointed um, because that hurts that hurts 14 times versus just learning that the next two weeks are going to be bare uh, so that it only hurts once so instead of 14 smaller knives one big knife cut off the scab quickly and, and move on um, so we're getting house rules too I would assume it's recycled based off the last few house rules it doesn't look like they're putting anything new into this game uh, we're getting a free n number one to 32 draft pick um, so good luck if you do that. It's only eight wins this week as makeup for last week's. Um, so you'll be able to get some more picks if you decide not to do it. It's worth 32,000 picks right there. I think it'll be auctionable, but I don't think know if that's confirmed auctionable or NAT. Uh, we'll find out of that, of course, tomorrow. Now, maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know why they're not doing second round draft picks of cards that maybe already made. Like DK, I'm guessing they expected him to go in the first round like so many of us did. And he didn't. And so they, they have his artwork. They have it all put together. It's, it's surprising. That, why didn't they just like, you know, like, all right, giddy up. And then just make like a bunch of 96 overalls. Or I guess it'd have to be 95s because you don't want to hurt the end of draft guys. 95 overall second round draft picks. It, it feels weird they don't have that. But I don't know. They already got the artwork, everything tested out. So maybe in in our dreams we can get it. Because two years ago we got it. Last year we didn't. I, don't, I doubt we'll get it now based off Kralo's comments. So we still have this Mutt Master token in the game. Um, completion, Mutt Master. I think that would lead to something. Whether it's going to be Golden Ticket if they do that. You know, there's rumblings last year about them not doing Golden Tickets. Maybe they don't do it again this year. But, or they, they finally don't do it since they let go of the Force telling them to do it. Guru. Um, maybe this goes to something else. I don't know what it'll be for. Hopefully something kind of cool. Uh, but we still have Mutt Master, something to do with that. So hopefully Ultimate Master comes. We still have Position Hero, the fat packs that usually generally crash the market tremendously. The Blockbuster and the Rookie Premiers uh, are, are all on their way, ideally. Now, the game's, what, three months away? A little under three months away now. So it's a lot of content, especially if they're taking the next two weeks off. They're going with a slow release schedule. So I, I think it's doubtful we get all of it. If we do, oh, bless them. But... That is a lot of content left for just three more months. I mean, the, the six things I have every two weeks for three months. Maybe? I don't know. Anyways, um, I talked about house rules. That's up for speculation. If you have a lot of those head-to-head um, -head badges still, you can either make uh, John Madden like we have been all year. Um, or this is a, this is a, a tip in Twitch chat. 
that uh, was pretty good because of that Derwin James power, Derwin James power up. You could go to the archive seasonal. Um, sorry, I forgot who who said this tip. Mutt monster basically turn your series trophies into gold mutt monsters. Turn those into elite mutt monsters. Do a boss monster. Do ten elite, twenty gold mutt monsters. So fifty total series trophies. Series two or later, you get a Derwin James who sells for like two hundred to three hundred k. Now, of course, check the market when that happens. I don't know what he's going for right now, uh, but. You can make a pretty decent amount of coins off that, even if you just buy the gold and uh, elite players off the auction house. This is what I did for my Derwin James power up. You can even buy these things and potentially snipe them. Uh, like this is, ooh, I could I could make an easy, easy a uh, couple K off that. So we'll just do that quickly. Um, so you can easily snipe these things, then put them in the set and do it that way, as they're not that expensive to make. So even even doing that, just to bring down that Derwin's price uh, for the people that want to do his power up, or just to do that uh, to make some coins is 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 viable because what 10 so it takes 60k and 60 to 70k for these things plus the gold ones are probably a couple k a pop times 20 um so it's only cost you like 110 to 130k to do that set and you can sell that derwin for quite a bit and uh yeah, it makes a profit there so that's a good profit set again shout out of course there's other series trophies if you have a lot of them you're in a great spot you can always quick sell them too uh, but it's not a bad little profit for your series trophies or just buying those off the market and turning them into uh, cards. So that's a nice little one. Of course, you can, uh, there are other, like go through each one of these programs you could. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think free agency has them. You can make trophies here too. Try and gamble. Um, that's a decent one. Like I talked about with John Madden in that uh, exchange set too. Does, does Combine have anything? Combine standout? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you get lucky here. I don't know. 90, 86 to 92 overall. I don't know if those are worth it. Six, eight series, six trophies or later. Yeah, current series. So house rules, maybe if you go on a run tomorrow, that's not bad too. But there's many different ways you can turn those into profit, which is nice that they've put in for uh, season trophies this year. But like I said, that whatever you want. Um, so series seven is coming, what, two weeks from now is what Kralos said. So uh, of course, we'll have the traditional series. This will be kind of my, my series preview like I do normally. Um, series seven's on its way, so check out new um, exchanges. Not exchanges, sorry. Series trophy case. Uh, basically, similar breakdowns as what we're gonna go through here. We'll get a new series master, probably a 98 overall, maybe 99. I would, I would think 99. I think 99 is a good spot for it. Um, Nat, you know, Nat right there. 80, 90, 93. Maybe this becomes a 91 to 95 for. Yeah, only 15, maybe it's 90 to 93. Um, and then this Journey McCoy, we'll probably, I don't know, we'll get a new Journey. We'll probably get a new string of solos when Series 7 comes. That's probably what they're working on. Will it be a Journey We're Done? Um, 96 to 94 to 96, 95 to 97 would make sense for an elite player. And Coach Madden collectible for the next one. So that's, that's I mean, you can easily look at this yourself as the breakdown for Series 7, what's on its way. But again, two weeks away for that. So there's nothing really too harsh to prep for that. You can look at a little bit, oops, a little bit of the exchanges that we get. Um, so go back to that for the players. This is always the coolest exchange when they bring these new ones in. 91 to 92 is a little harder to get on the power ups. Um, like 90 to 91s are already kind of lowering it. You have to find like uh, legends that don't have, a, maybe were limited, that get a power up later. Because uh, a lot of the base cards had a, uh, were, were topped out at 90. Uh, 91 like what rogers brady maybe so um the 91 and 92 overall exchange might not be profitable but of course we'll have to take a look when it switches over it's always best to try it right away uh because that's when a lot of the profits before the before the market truly catches on a lot of when the profits are there to be made um as for other things with the series change over it's general generic objectives solos uh, like i said with journey i really hope they do an actual okay journey now with okay rewards as this journey sightseeing was terrible why would they waste our time like this they did so much work like there is so much work to put these solos in and they wasted it they wasted their own work on a fucking terrible reward so give us some packs please don't waste your own work because you're not only are wasting our time if somebody decides to do it but you're wasting your own time because nobody's engaging with this shit so make it valuable for us at the end of the game please um if i if you're taking any feedback from me do that but otherwise these next couple weeks Grind the game as much as you can, um, as much as you want, not can. Uh, but that's kind of, the, the staleflation is kind of set in for a little bit. 
Uh, but I guess it's good timing for my vacation if they're not going to update the game much. Um, getting out for like five days, moving, headed out west, out westward uh, to California, specifically the San Francisco area. Uh, so that should be fun. But uh, of course, I'll try and have content made, ready to go for the week I'm gone. And then I, I'll, I'll be taking a break from streaming there too. So just an announce, announcement. We'll take a look at the market here where the uh, buy now feature or buy now cards are at. And uh, then, then wrap it up as we are approaching too long for TV. 70 to 74 is sitting at 500. I guess this is probably just random uh, movement on the market because last week it was like 600 the week week before 550 so that's nothing out of the usual low golds high golds all freaking cheap and it feels bad man we'll put this on an 800 instead of 650 although i could easily put it at 650 because that mark that card's been on the market for a long time and doesn't seem to be being snatched up because there's just no demand there there's no reason to get high golds it's it sucks that they've done the pack trash i know Kralo said he's uh passed along the concerns to the team the team um the interns just don't seem to care all right the 82 to 83s, the 20, 20, 50, that's down from 22, 50 last week, 3,000 the week before. So a continual downward momentum in that. Uh, 84 to 85s, they're at 4, 40, 50, down from 4, 4, 50. More continual downward. It was, it was, so it's 4,000, 4,500, 4,900, 6,000 in the past four weeks, respectively. 86. You are at 9,000. We'll just round it up. Wow, actually, that is slightly up from last week where it hit 7,350. The week before is at 9,000. The week before that, 9,300. The week before that, 9,700. So it was a big dip down last week, and then we're back up to 9,000. I wonder, is that elite badge, elite badge tied or just random market movement? Could we just be random market movement? Just, just hit one period of a day where it's kind of high. But, so I'm not willing to place a reason on this yet um elite badges sometimes are required for season turnovers but who knows the new heavyweights flashbacks that kind of stuff that stuff ain't coming is it just just stop just i should not even speculate on that this one's 12 650 down from 15,000 last week which was actually up from the week before 13,000 and then 15,000 week before that so that one's kind of going up and down um zigging and zagging side to side uh nothing really to gain or glean from that because there's no major like there's no market movement factors. The draft didn't really take a lot of these things. They were just re-roll stuff, stuff put in packs. So this one's 21000 again. It was the exact same price last week. So literally no change in those two. It's been it's held steady for, what, three weeks now? Um, so that, again, market really hasn't moved in those. I'm guessing those are training-related-ish areas. Although training's gone down a little bit. We'll get to that in a second. Training's been pretty steady the last few weeks. All right, where'd, where'd it go? Um... This one is at 38,000 down from 42,000 last week. Down from 43, down from 48 the previous couple weeks. 94 to 95s. You are at 74, 750. Wow. Um so this is kind of unusual. It's not unusual. Oh, sorry. No no song and dance. 74 last week was 90, the week before 77, the week before that 88. So that's another one that's kind of zigging and zagging up and down. It might just be random. Maybe this is a, I, I got it during a different time of the day, which I I, I may. No, I, I think I re recorded this Monday night last week too. I don't know why that, I don't know why those are zigging and zagging, but it's probably just random market noise. Uh, wow, these ones are down 105. So the high end cars, the 96s, the ones that were kind of being on people's teams, these ones got absolutely destroyed. Due to the draft, so many more 95s through 98s got put in the game, and then 199. Oh, a few 99s were limited and stuff. But so these 96s took a big bath, and uh, they're down from 125 last week, 144 the week before, 148 the week before that. So pretty big. What it lost about 50% of its value, now 45% of its value in uh, two weeks' time. Yeah, 96s took a bath, but that's the game right now. Market crashed. More with the draft. Just like we predicted. I know somebody, when I, when I said last week that the draft usually crashes the market, people were like, what? I saw a couple comments like, what do you mean? It can't get more crash than it already is. Well, congratulations. It, your your uh, prophecy, uh, my prophecy came true and you were astonished, right? 98s, 192. Last week, 216. The week before, 231. So 
98 is also down uh, due to the top end market, due to the draft content being put in game. So that profit, uh, that that pro prophecy came through. Market Monday's doing well once again this year. Um, but I will see you in two weeks on this. Otherwise, training's down to four coins per training, down from five last week, five the week before, six the week before that, nine the week before that. Um, so training still on a downward slide. The yearly down their side. We started the year at 80 coins per training. Now we're down to four. Amazing how things change. Um, 20 times over we're down. Wow. The story of our year. I'm looking at. I'm looking at it on the timeline right here, and it's it's interesting stuff. I don't know. The market market tells a similar story every year. EA's kind of got their set rhythm. Um, we as player have our, have our set rhythm, um, and it's kind of a nice little. I don't know, ebb and flow as we go along. Um, I don't got any more words than that about the market. See you guys in a couple weeks for this. Otherwise, see you tomorrow for other normal content. Love y'all. Take it easy.